Welcome everyone, this is a video on my research into anti-gravity um, trying to hopefully understand how the common sightings of uh, UFOs slash UAPs as they're now called um, This I'll give you a brief rundown and this video will be edited so that uh, we can I mean, I can explain the story of how I come to this realization and uh, yeah, basically what I know about. It. So, first of all, uh, we have what's called an induction cooker. Uh, so, that would be that device there made for cooking by the means of induction. So, that's pretty straightforward. This unit cost me uh, $50 Australian if, from memory a long time ago. Um, these can still be purchased. Um, what we have here is just a circle of alum aluminium foil or aluminium as the Americans like to call it even though it's quite clearly spelt aluminium. But anyway, uh, just another thing that they like to change, with no need. Uh, so that's just a, a small disc, and that's going to represent um, material that is suitable for interaction with anti-gravity fields. The induction cooker itself has inside it a pancake coil, different to that one. But the general concept is the same, I believe, inside the um, induction cooker, you're dealing with a lit wire pancake coil. And from my research, I've found that um, using two coils, so this one here I've, I've wound is approximately 20 centimeters in width. Uh, I can't remember. The exact number of turns but if I hold that there steady enough you may be able to pause the screen and count those turns for yourself um, that terminates into a junction terminal block there and then straight into a conventional 240 volt power socket uh, with which I have plugged that into a normal kettle so um, and the kettle acts as a load uh, you'll see through this video when I'm explaining the story um, on how I come to realize this situation you'll see um, that when the load uh, disconnects or the kettle boils um, there is insufficient load to keep the uh, induction cooker operational uh, I have a wooden chopstick that I place in the middle and that allows the um, aluminium disc to stay centered above the magnetic field um, with it set up this way you end up with two rotating magnetic fields uh, and I find that if the two fields are in opposition, it creates a stronger repulsion force. So, I'll turn that on. As I said, I will edit the video um, just because of the noise factor. And whilst I'm explaining, uh, my version of, of events on how we got to um, this technology uh, I will have that sound edited out as it is considerably loud at the end I might go into uh, a little more detail on the coil as well and we might uh, edit in some photos uh, in relation to these uh, pancake coils and, and photos in relation to UAPs and 
UFOs. Um, this is not me declaring I don't believe in the extra extraterrestrial entity. It's just this can be done from uh, a human aspect and there is no need for extraterrestrial entities to experience the magic of this uh, I'm not also suggesting that this is where it didn't originate however America has had this uh, information for a long long time and has chosen not to give it to even its own people or the rest of the world so one of the issues I have with that is uh, there are possibilities for energy harvesting within this system and basically we've sort of been denied this information um, where this really would come into play is uh, the removal of weight or mass cancellation to allow us things like faster than speed of light travel or even just making our goods cheaper by removing the transportation weights all right that being said uh, let's move on to the story Nikola Tesla's pancake coil was capable of manipulating gravity I have no way of knowing if what I read during my research was genuine or that the events ever occurred however what you see in this video is a result of my research so I'll summarize years of investigating and explain how I got to what you see this is in my opinion a story of suppression and anti-gravity technologies developed by Nikola Tesla and suppressed by various organizations and individuals you may have seen this before as it has been shown on YouTube by a few people now and is nothing new especially considering Nikola Tesla's pancake coil patent was granted in 1894 this gravity manipulation can be done without the top coil uh, that, that you see on top of the induction cooker um, but the foil gets hot enough to boil water and the difference with this demonstration to others is um, the, the using a sufficient load like the 2200 watt kettle um, prevents the foil uh, from heating up and, and heat prevents that heat build up um, but still allows the function of gravity manipulation. In fact, uh, it, it performs even better with a larger load. Uh, up to a certain point, you can go you know, over that threshold where um, the load consumes most of uh, the force that's being made. So uh, you don't want to go too large, but... You know, considering this is 2,200 watt kettle, um, yeah, it's 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 a decent uh, a decent load that it's capable of powering. Um, I often wondered whether you know this is why UFOs and UAPs, as they're now called, always have um, blinding bright lights before they vanish or before they take off rapidly. Uh, they may be engaging a significant load uh, just to create this field. Um, you know, without without the load, uh, the induction cooker itself has um, has been designed so that it uh, it turns off or intermittently tries to um, power itself up. That's where you can see the bouncing. Once the kettle um, actually finishes boiling, you can see the uh, the field tries to initiate, but it, it senses no load, so it, it deactivates itself. Um, but yeah, I've always wondered whether 
you know, is, is that why, is that why they have these bright lights? Um, always related to the UFOs and UAPs. So, um, you know, this technology is also capable of mass cancellation. In my opinion, that's a. I mean, you see whatever the foil weighs, it that weight is being. Um, removed or diminished to a point where it can levitate so um, in my opinion from what I've read that's a mass cancellation um, technology which also permits faster than light travel um, and so some of the devices that I'll talk about uh, you know that I've researched on and I'll briefly mention uh, in this um, are possibly using uh, a similar technology to allow that um, faster than um, our conventional physics allow for flight um, also some of the maneuvers that uh, these crafts seem to be capable of that we don't understand how that's done um, may be possible or made possible by the removal of that mass or the weight of that object now, the faster you go um, the heavier you become so this is what stops us from speed of light travel and um, you yeah, know that's why this tech is so important it, it really changes um, the distances between locations uh, you, know, you know it really becomes irrelevant um, if you can remove your know, 90 plus percent of your weight um, this unit displayed here can be stabilized so you don't need the chopstick to balance the foil and stabilizing the field simply requires a second separate coil at the perimeter of the magnetic field um, which acts somewhat like the rim of a bowl uh, almost trapping the foil disc in the center of the bowl um, because I don't have that coil in this video we have to use a chopstick uh, just to keep um, the disc uh, centered the behavior of the foil floating there is um, you know, similar to the way a foil boat would float on water, the way this floats like every UFO um, that I've ever seen on video, I've never seen one in person. Um, you're defying the laws of gravity, a solid that presents itself as being lighter than air. Um, the suppression of this technology has resulted in an increased price of every single manufactured item across the globe. You know, if you imagine ships and trucks or shipping containers using this technology, removing the weight of an item, cost of every item shipped globally, uh, you know, ton upon tons of food having its transport weight completely removed, it makes you know, me angry. Uh, the billions of us don't see how we've been tricked. You know, we work for for energy. You know, we work for energy that is free. We pay excessive amounts for goods that could be transported free. You know, I've always been uh, fascinated by what everyone has known as UFOs, now referred to as UAPs. However. The ridicule in this field has always been deliberate uh, and targeted at anyone showing interest, and this is done to destroy credibility. Also, being shunned by society works as a bloody good deterrent. And the way I have, you know, seen people judge me for expressing my interest in UFOs has left me unable to discuss. What I have learned about anti-gravity with anyone I know. Um, I have always believed that the majority of UFOs we see are man-made. So I don't usually discuss aliens 
Uh, instead, I focus on the fact this technology suppression is made possible by a poor education, and I feel we need to move back to educating ourselves instead of regurgitating state propaganda. And the American military complex is lying to all of us, creating propaganda in relation to the recent shootdowns of UFOs, like as if they don't know where these things originated and the technology they do tell us about would have recorded every single thing point of impact global position of impact you know, rate of descent depth of any water target as for remote locations you know do they really expect us to believe it's easier to land rovers on mars than to access anywhere on earth it's so ridiculous you know they were not able to get to the crash site come on seriously this is how you know it's rubbish if it were a real ufo their asses would have been there within the hour it's as simple as that yeah, you know, they would have told us it was something else, but if it was real, they would have been there. America's bought and paid for journalists are asking the wrong questions. And they're nothing less than gaslighting. You know, well, at least they're not gaslighting with gas from Russia. You know, most of what I research is driven by a voice in my head that always says the same thing, which is, look a little closer and you will see. Now, at some point a long time ago, perhaps another sighting from somewhere in the world, um, I was triggered to investigate this as I had a strong desire to understand the way these things function. Uh, you know, it's a, a desire that stirs a mind, making it near impossible to have normal conversations. You know, when my mind is pouring over anti-gravity designs in every waking hour, um, you know, where, where do you start? So I found that most of the reports in relation to UFOs began shortly after Nagasaki, um, you know, bombing of Nagasaki. So there is an immediate connection to the military and you know militaries of the world. Very quickly, I read about Nazi involvement and cover-ups from Allied forces, and this is where my mind gives credibility to a situation. You know, as soon as you hear military cover-ups i knew something was real about this situation um you know I, I didn't want to get bogged down in the politics so i focused on how these things how these vehicles were capable of their feats uh you know of amazing flight and i didn't really care who made them but more how you know so although i find the alien origin story interesting my mind is quick to say to all these entities get out of my way of educating myself i'll decide if i can handle this you don't get to make this call for me it's as simple as that so i started looking into it and you know, most people in this field um you know most people are interested in this field have seen uh, things like the ionic lifters using aluminium foil usually arranged in a triangular formation of lightweight materials and this device behaves in a similar way as a lot of ufos and, or uaps behave um, you know rapid lift you know acceleration using high voltage uh, dc power However, I felt there was a separate form of gravity manipulation at play here that allows these devices to hover, and I believe both forms of technology could be being used, and others um, being used to, to uh, produce what, what there are so many sightings of today. Um, you know, so this sort of led me to the concept of electrogravitics, um, which is what the ionic lifter uses. And immediately I uh, was made aware of uh, and amazed by a scientist by the name of Thomas Townsend Brown. And if you've not seen his work, I highly recommend searching him on YouTube. 
Um, you know, one, one of the fascinating things about T. Townsend Brown is that he finished his work in 1928. Um, you know, let me state that clearly. He finished his work on anti-gravity in 1928. That's 95 years ago. 95 years the US military kept anti-gravity from us. 95 years of the military complex taking our money to research anti-gravity and never giving us anything but war. You know, ironically, a lot of um, Thomas Townsend Brown's uh, test units strikingly similar to the stereotypical shape of UFOs, you know, the infamous flat uh, floating metal saucer. You know, Thomas Townsend Brown mentioned he was studying the work already done by the great Nikola Tesla. Uh, as soon as I read that, I thought to myself, of course Tesla was the creator of this marvellous technology. Uh, at least in our reality, anyway. Um, you know, it may have been given to him from somewhere else. Uh, that's completely irrelevant. He's the man on this earth that patented that particular coil, which is completely responsible for what you're seeing here. Um, you know, when I finished reading and watching everything I could get my eyes on relating to Thomas Townsend Brown, um, I looked into Tesla's work on anti-gravity and again saw the influence of military cover-ups. You know, all of Tef Tesla's work was confiscated by um, the Office of Alien Property immediately after his death. Now, it's not to be confused by the alien that first comes to mind, but in this case, this refers to someone who is not a citizen of the U.S. Uh, a lot of Tesla's work was not returned to the rightful owner um, after his death and kept secret still to this day, and therefore it is stolen property, stolen by the, Amer by the American military complex. Other nations and their governments also have withheld uh, technology over the years in relation to this. But the main offender here, absolutely the American uh, military complex. You know, it didn't even give this stuff to their own people. Um, you know, so a, a lot of his... A lot of Tesla's work was not returned. Um, you know, it makes me think like, still to this day, stolen property controlled by the uh, deep state and military c complex. Um, you know, and we're all paying for it still. You know, was this confiscated work of Tesla's holding the secrets of his anti gravity research? And Tesla had plans of flying vehicles powered by wireless electricity, the very definition of what you see in this video. And although, you know, we are told wireless technology or wireless uh, electricity isn't powerful, this is a 2,200 watt kettle powered wirelessly. You're not finding much um, reference from Tesla on anti-gravity, smelled like a rat. Uh, so I began looking at unpublished effects of some of Tesla's work. Things you can only see with experiment upon experiment. And I've learned in relation to Nikola Tesla, if you want the truth of his inventions, look at the ones that have been commercialized. In my opinion, as a device of distraction. Uh, you know, by that I mean, like, any invention of Tesla's sold for a purpose usually had a different intended purpose, according to Nikola Tesla. You know, the military allows us to have these devices as a means of distraction. While they're nefariously working at weaponizing the device's powers uh, and ushering us along, stating there's nothing to see here. 
you know, device is not special, so we'll let you think that, and then you know we can sell it as something else. And again, nothing to see here, just a convenient cooking device that we gave you years ago. You know, they do this with most things. They place it under our noses because we are too distracted to see the real invention. Too distracted working to pay for free energy. This also allows them to say that they never denied access. And you know, the same thing happened with Marconi and the invention of the radio. The courts overturned Marconi's patent for the radio after both Tesla's and Marconi's deaths. You know, when Tesla was alive, he, he presented to the courts the theft of his inventions by Marconi. However, J.P. Morgan was heavily involved in the suppression of Tesla's work by this time as it threatened J.P. Morgan's control over the energy industry. He even ran propaganda pieces on Tesla to discredit him and his work and, you know, so there is a fair chance J.P. Morgan bankrolled the heist of Tesla's technology. Tesla had told J.P. Morgan that he, you know, he had um, designed a system to transfer power around the world unmetered. This was not a reference to free power, but a new means of transmitting power without wires, which was another realm where J.P. Morgan was a tycoon the manufacture of electricity transmission lines. The means of um, you know, supplying the power to the transmitter was to be powered by Tesla's other inventions you know, that were funded by JP Morgan. Um, you know, these devices were only approved and funded because JP Morgan obviously saw profit in the control he would have uh, as soon as this unmeted technology was known by J.P. Morgan, he sabotaged Tesla's reputation and most likely bankrolled Marconi to steal Tesla's work and give it to the masses as a toy. Nothing to see here, it's just a radio. You know, where the free energy side of it comes into play is the fact that Tesla knew how to extract atmospheric energy. One example would be the... Um, Niagara Falls power station designed and built with the help of Tesla and credited to Edison. Another thief and, you know, a, bar a barbaric slaughter of animals to demonstrate the power of electricity. That's right. One of the biggest banks in the world started out by publicly executing dogs and elephants with electricity as a show of force free energy is a reality but one man enslaved us all jp morgan our relatives our friends have slaved and died in the pursuit of energy to feed their people and we are still dying in the pursuit of energy today energy that could have been supplied for free Instead of the J.P. Morgan Bank becoming one of the most powerful banks in the world, built off our slaved sweat, tears and lives. Tesla was intending on feeding his transmitter by the power generated by water and our atmosphere, free for all. Beyond the initial cost of building the infrastructure, there is no cost. J.P. Morgan is one of the major reasons we all work for peanuts so we can spend our peanuts on energy that was meant to be free. So, yeah, okay, now my rant is over. Um, back to the anti-gravity, I suppose. The next part of the story is what I've read and uh, naturally it cannot be verified. Um... Therefore, please keep in mind this data could be wrong. However, please also keep in mind that you are looking at anti-gravity and it doesn't care what we think. So the Nazis had been working, you know, looking into anti-gravity since at least 1936. I'm not going to speculate on the reality of that path, but this is what I've read. And it gave me excellent insight to what you see here. The story um, 
goes, you're a craft um, of unknown origin crashed outside the town of Freiburg, Germany in 1936. This was witnessed by many from the town and apparently the craft was hit by lightning in a local storm. And this is only eight years after T. Townsend Brown's work was completed. A young military man by the name of Hans Kemmler attended the crash site as a low-ranking member of the German military and was involved in the recovery of this craft. Apparently, during reverse engineering of this craft, a visit was made to Nikola Tesla by Hans Kemmler, who by this point had been elevated to the head of Nazi weapons research. Kemmler was to learn Tesla's work with the hope of understanding the Freiburg craft operation. Whether this was true or not, I don't know. However, it is what I read, and I know the Nazis kept a close eye on Tesla and reverse engineering this craft could have given them the confidence to start a war three years later. Looking at Nazi research into anti-gravity is a deep dive of its own, filled with tales of the defeat of our understanding of physics. Unfortunately, we still today teach rubbish in our education system that these feats are unknown to us. They feed our minds fluoride, which is ironic, as the first mass use of fluoride was inside Nazi prison camps to placate the prisoners, they said. On a bottle of, of fluoride is the poison symbol. So that should tell you something. You know, fluoride makes you docile, obedient, and is like throwing your imagination out the window. No wonder governments of the world adopted what the Nazis created to control us. Again, you need to question who won the war. You know, when looking at the WEF agenda today, one has to ask, did the Nazis really lose the Second World War? The only thing missing from Klaus Schwab's presentations is the Nazi salute. Nazis ordered and controlled research into anti-gravity devices, commanding the infrastructure of German big business like auto manufacturers to do experimental work using anti-gravity secrets. Companies like BMW produced three different models to my knowledge and some of the prototypes were found by allied forces and again suppressed. I have seen hundreds of photos of what the Nazis called the Flugelrund, loosely translated as round plane. And of one of the prototypes up against the wall, supposedly in the BMW factory, you know, devices that were paid for by taxpayers, devices like the Hanubu, uh, stereotypical UFO technology that could have benefited all mankind. Instead, it was stolen by the military complex of the US. Stolen, researched, made a reality with our money. A technology that would have drastically changed all of our lives. Unlimited power, cheaper freight, through weightless transportation of global goods. Faster flight for if the blueprints of the Hanubu are legitimate. These craft were capable of speeds in the order of 17,000 kilometers per hour. And also capable of defying our understanding of physics, making right angled turns, you know, right angled maneuvers at max speed diving into water at alarming speeds without flinching and no wreckage to be found. And this technology suppression prevents us from overcoming the lies of Einstein, who is nothing short of a military smokescreen. Fast and speed of light is dependent on mass cancellation. The forces of gravity are diminished to an almost insignificant point using this technology. The heavier an object, the harder it is to exceed the speed of light. And, and the not too uh, distant um, Navy UFO patents, you know, that were granted 
that clearly outline the importance of mass cancellation is what allows faster than light travel. As brilliant as you know, Elon Musk's technological breakthroughs with SpaceX have been, they pale in comparison to the largest Hanubu at 72 feet in diameter, capable of making tons become weightless. And flight time to Mars is supposedly taking 16 minutes. You know, did the Egyptians possess these technologies that shifted 100 ton blocks of stone, making things weightless? Now, this device in, in the video is um, you know, sold today as a convenient cooking device, an induction cooker, and again, there's you know, nothing to see here. Inside this device is you know, a, um, a Litz wound um, pancake coil of Nikola Tesla's patent. Um, your pancake co the coil on top is also a pancake coil. Uh, and it is when two of these coils, I believe, are placed uh, together and that the magic occurs. I believe this um, to be due to counter-rotating magnetic fields. And those of us who have investigated the gravity flyer will note two separate rotating magnetic fields with an aluminium plate that is responsible for the levitation and everything strapped to that aluminium plate and you have the two counter rotating fields above one above and one below um you know and i f i feel that's what's um responsible for enhancing that um, mass cancellation you know the nazis apparently produced a metal called victolin um you know how similar is that to uh aluminium you know, is it, is it the same min, uh, metal or, you know, a completely different alloy? Um, we'll probably never know. You know, did aluminium arrive after the Nazis created their uh, Victolin? Uh, you know, the today's composition, who, who knows? Um, you know, if you were to combine this technology with the tech for the ionic lifters and you have mass cancelled, accelerated flight you know it's not really that difficult to understand how these devices are, are moving around you know if i can achieve this for under a hundred dollars you know therefore one can assume the trillions of dollars missing from the u.s budget year after year has gone toward building how many of these vehicles you know, for what to stage a fake alien invasion on earth so we give them more money yet we still are not allowed to have this technology built with our money this technology should be free as tesla intended it to be the tesla coil is mocked as a toy yet it is the heart of this technology the tesla coil is capable of mass cancellation creating ionic flight wireless charging of capacitors all of the major important functions of ufo slash uap flight this is our technology the stealth bombers the flux liner the tr3b astra and anything else they've built with our money this technology and its suppression you know, is also what led to the death of kennedy one week after he declared to reveal the deep state in control of the suppression of this technology, he was assassinated. I don't know. Thank you for listening. Um, thank you for watching. And um, you know, please share share this video as many people as you can. It's just important that people understand that this is not beyond our abilities. This is something that. You know, it's just been pushed under the rug. This this is real. You know, these things that you see, there's a ninety percent chance that they're human built. You know, they're, they're built with our money, 
with what we currently understand, and, and it could have come from somewhere else. That's completely an, another issue. The fact is we know how to do this, and they're not letting us have it. You know, I, I believe, you know, I'm not stating that, you know, all these vehicles being sighted are military complex vehicles, but I believe a massive portion are. And I believe the video is evidence that it is easier than we're told and we're still being lied to. You know, as far as whistleblowers, you need to come forward. Your silence results in the enslavement and death of your loved ones, or perhaps you know, perhaps they only employ single entities with no families. In which case, those people, you need to dig deep. Find the courage and stop the suppression. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.